Okay, welcome to the third part of this video. Uh, we will be discussing the premises set up for your flu vaccination service. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at your consultation room. Okay, and this is again taken from the service level agreements that you should um, have signed. Um, vaccination should only take place in the consultation room that is large enough to allow the following things. The vaccination should um, to be administered safely, that there is sufficient workspace to allow preparatory work and easy access to things like sharps containers and easy storage of paperwork. Immediate access to anaphylaxis packs and anaphylaxis array algorithms. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit in the event of a severe anaphylactic reaction in the pharmacy. Shall have the facility to call ambulance assistance immediately without leaving the patient unattended. In other words, ideally what you would want is a telephone um, in the consultation room. The individual sorry, um, should be large enough to allow the individual to be vaccinated to, where necessary, remove and store any garments with privacy and dignity to allow safe vaccination. And finally, should be large enough to allow the management of any anaphylaxis or patient collapse, including putting a person into the recovery position and or carrying out basic life support. So in other words, if a patient is to collapse, you should have enough room in your consultation room to allow all of this to occur. As for your fridge, okay, and essentially um, it's the same sort of thing that you're gonna you 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 should have in all of your pharmacies, a fridge that allows a uh, pharmaceutical fridge that is to allow the temperatures to be kept between two to eight degrees. You're gonna need to monitor this as well, and um, if you so wish, we'll give you the link to this. But there's also a, um, a a document that you can read, which goes over. Um, cold vaccine storage or vaccine cold storage in a bit more detail and we'll give you the link for that as well that you can read at your own leisure okay next thing standard operating procedures you're going to need these standard operating procedures in place we will um, be also be issuing our own but we suggest for the moment what you do is you go to the MPA website and download their SOPs and I'll show you where to download that in a minute um, if you so wish we do have a needle stick injury SOP and a chaperone policy um, um, on our website and I'll show you where that is. If you click on farmpluslimited.co.uk you'll need to sign in here and what you'll do is after you've signed in you'll go to membership resources or member resources, go to operational and click on standard operating procedures and you'll be able to download the documents there under the standard operating procedures. Okay, now after that, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to have an anaphylaxis SOP in place and we suggest you use your private PGD provider to do that. And also you're going to need infection control procedures and there are three things you're going to really need. The first thing is there is actually a template that you can download and we'll give you the link for this as well. And it essentially goes over everything you're likely to need um, to make sure that your infection control procedures are um, of gold standard. Okay, so in other words, it's um, it goes over things like hand hygiene. It goes over things like environment, and and essentially it's an audit a tick based thing that you can um, uh, look at and and um, action as well. In addition to this, we strongly suggest you have your spill kit as well. And the MPA does a good one as well, so you can go onto the website and download it there. And finally, we would also suggest that your staff are vaccinated against hepatitis B at the same time. And when you go onto the um, MPA website, this is um, what you'll see. You'll just need to download um, the, uh, the standard procedures from there. Now, as for the anaphylaxis kit, again, this is taken from the service level agreements. The provider should also ensure that a copy of the most recent version of the anaphylaxis algorithm produced by the Resuscitation Council is available and can be downloaded. And please note that website there. It can be downloaded from that website. It should be noted that the Enhanced London Service includes a vaccination of children from two years of age and therefore all pharmacies providing the service should be aware of the dose of adrenaline required for the management of anaphylaxis in these age groups. 
The service provider must also provide at least two ampules of adrenaline, one in 1,000, including the necessary syringes and needles required for administration of all age groups. Where this is provided as a pen device, then two pens of each of the 150, 300, and the 500 microgram strength should be stocked. MRH pre-filled pens are available in all three of these strengths. Um, EpiPen auto-injector is available only as a 300 and 150 as well. Okay, so that's something that you're going to need to do. We would also suggest that you download, um, sorry, first of all, don't forget your resus mask as well um, that you would have um, that you would have learnt about on your um, anaphylaxis course. And also we would suggest that you download um, your telephone card. You can click on here, you can download it. Um, there you go. And we suggest that you print this off and stick it on your telephone. And that way, um, when anaphylaxis does occur, and believe me, it can be very frightening if it does occur, uh, you have all the information there at your disposal. Finally, clinical waste. Um, make sure you've got processes in place to remove your clinical waste and make sure you've got plenty of waste bins as well, clinical waste bins to um, keep your, uh, to, to get rid of your stock as well, or not stock your, your waste too. Okay, so that's the second of the videos. In the next video, we'll be discussing the differences between the London National and private services.